Hi, this is the homework, lesson 20 for module 5 of grade 2. Please write your name first. And we're doing uh, multiple strategies for different problems. And you can choose any two different strategies you want for each problem. You don't have to choose the same ones that I choose. And uh, compared to lesson 19 homework, we don't have to make explanations for them. You can just do, um, let's see. I see an I see an easy way to make 10 there but those numbers there's not a mental math strategy that's really grabbing me for that one so I'll just do this vertically first six plus four is ten five plus four is nine and one more is another ten and then four plus two and one more is seven hundred so for our second strategy we could use arrow way Right, add the ones first. 460. Add the tens next. That's 500. Add the hundreds last. 700. Okay. Now I've got a missing add end problem. I can solve this with subtraction or I can solve it counting up the arrow way. Working just in, living in a left to right world it's easy to think of this plus what do I have to add and stop when I get to it. So counting up is one of the strategies that just kind of naturally comes to mind when you're looking at a missing add end like that especially when it's uh, one of the add when the, it's not the first number that's missing so or the first add-in that's missing so let's add two that'll get us to 700 and then oh then we then we need another uh 200 to get to 900 and there we can easily add 45 all at once uh, you might use more steps than me um, I think that's the minimum number of steps that'll get us to 945 at least as far as doing it the arrow way so here I had to add 200 45 plus 2 isn't hard to do mentally that's 47 so it's 247 is what I had to add and for my second strategy, I can think of this as a subtraction problem. And then I would have to do 945 minus 698. Well, this is all my sub, my subtrend is almost 700. So if I just added two to both of these, I would have 947 minus 700, which would give me 247. And if I want to draw a picture of it, there. Now it says we're explaining. Okay, we have a choice here to use either airway or vertical form and explain our choice. So it looks like if we're going to use, let's see, airway, we're going to have to add hundreds and tens but here with this 57 and that 60 the tens we're going to have to be we're going to do that in a couple different steps so i'm just going to use vertical form for this if i had to choose between the two i'm going to do vertical form for this one seven zero 
5 plus 6 is 11. And 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. And I'm going to say with vertical form, I get to add easy numbers. Right, because it's all single digit. If you, once you look at the place values vertically, you're just adding 7 plus 0, 5 plus 6, and 2 plus 1 plus 1. Those are pretty easy numbers to add together. If I was using an arrow way, I'd be adding, you know, I'd be adding 50, I'd be adding 7, and I'd be adding 10s and 100s, and it's just one reason to choose vertical form. Maybe you chose, you could easily choose arrow way as long as you have an explanation for why you chose it. Number bond or arrow way. For this subtraction, now really for this subtraction, I would do a compensation strategy, right? Because at 597, it's almost 600. And I would just have to add three to these. I'd have pretty easy mental math, but that's not my choice here. Um, now, I'm going to, I could do this in two steps probably if I subtracted 600 and added three back. But I'm going to try using Arrowway, just counting up. 500... 97 right and if I add 3 that gets me to an easy 600 and now I can see that I have to add another 100 that makes 700 and then the 54 for 754 so that's a 100 54 plus 3 is 57, so it's 157. And I chose airway because airway takes 3 easy mental math. steps to count up. 